Hey everyone, here's how to make X Shakes in Premiere Pro with no plugins in three steps. So we're going to start with clip preparation, so making sure that everything has been set, moving on to step two, making the actual shake, and then step three, making any adjustments such as adding on motion blur. So let's begin with stage one, making sure that your clip has been set. So as you can see, there are no black parts around my clip. So make sure that yours does not look like this. As you can see, the top and the bottom have these black bars. Make sure that you scale it in until they are no longer visible. And then you want to nest it. So right click on your clip, head over to nest, and then click OK. Next, we're going to create an adjustment layer. So right click here on your projects tab, head over to new item, adjustment layer and click OK. Now place this on top of your clip and extend it to about 20 or 25 frames long. I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Search for the transform effect, which is underneath this distort and drag it directly onto the adjustment layer. Now what we're going to do is make a scale first. So click on the toggle animation button right here and set the amount to 150. Then head all the way to the end, but one frame back, so not to the end, just one frame back and reset this to 100. Now we're going to graph this, so click on the little arrow next to the stopwatch, which will bring this down and select the second keyframe. Pull this handle all the way to the left and ensure that it's on level, so right there. Perfect. So now you should have a very smooth slope that looks like this. Make sure your graph does not jump up or down like this, otherwise it's going to end up horrible. So make sure it's smooth. That's our scale done. So now what we need to do is keyframe the position, which is just at the top. So hit the stopwatch. And what I'm going to do is shift it very slightly to the left. As you can see, my video is moving and I'm going to move it until I hit the edge of it. So make sure that this black border is not visible. So we need to hide it like so. Perfect. Now the position is on the very edge of our clip. Then move one, two frames ahead and do the exact same thing for the other side. So I'm just going to shift it to my right and make sure it hits the edge like so. Perfect. One, two, once again all the way to the left and just repeat. So there you go, perfect. One, two, once again, just like that. And then one, two, three, four, and reset it by clicking on this little arrow. Highlight all of your position keyframes, right click on one of them, head over to spatial interpolation and select linear. Then you want to select the, you want to highlight the last few. So mine are the last four, right click one more time and head over to temporal interpolation, ease in. Now it's time to make our adjustments because at the moment it looks a bit choppy so we can fix that by adding on motion blur. If you scroll down you'll see this option called shutter angle so what I'm going to do is change it to 180 which is about half motion blur so now if you play it back you can see it looks much smoother than before. Let's make further adjustments with the position keyframes because right now it looks more like a twitch shake so what I'm going to do is move this second keyframe to the left just one frame back like so. That looks a little better but I think it's still a little bit too strong. So let's try spreading them out. So from the start, one, two, three, I'm going to move my second keyframe right there and also just shift the other ones to the side for now because I'm going to move them to a very specific spot. So one, two, three, move the third one right there. One, two, three, move it there. One, two, three, four, five, six for the last one and it's already there so I don't have to move it so this is what it looks like however again there are problems because you can see the black parts are now visible so if I just turn down the motion blur you can see I need to push my clip a bit to the left like so for the second keyframe then I'm just going to check my other ones as well so this one needs some adjusting just going to push it to the right let's check this one yep that one as well and the last one should be okay so without motion blur it looks like this which is pretty good and with motion blur, so let's just crank it all the way up to 360. It looks like this. Don't forget my shake and transition preset pack is available in the description below with 20% off until the end of August. Thank you for watching. Peace.